Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick little tour of where I am right now with my fish stuff. So we'll start with the lab. Here's the fire extinguisher, very cool. Bugger for all the socks, very cool. Some salt, a magazine, some sterile carboys for when I start doing algae cultures that like are super sterile and can have like bacteria or other algae cultures contaminating them. So that's where the water is going to be stored. Um, it's a trash bin. These two tanks are temporary. They're for um, new fish that I get in and I have to quarantine them, like treat them with, for diseases and parasites and whatnot before they can go in the main system, which isn't done yet, but quarantine can take up to a month. So I'm gonna get the ball rolling with these two tanks. Um, I like cups and glassware, if, if you can't tell. <laughs> can never have enough uh, deli cups when it comes to fish stuff. And then this is just some of the water quality testing. I don't have much in here, mostly because a lot of the water, water quality I'm gonna be doing is gonna be automated. Um, it's the rack for my glassware. Little sink, I got like a little soap dispenser thingy from Bob. It's like automatic, you just put your hand under it. Uh, so, so I don't lose my sharps and drop them on my foot like I did that one time. Cleaners. Um, this is medication and additives for the tank. Um, the larger bottles are over on the other side. Uh, this is my whiteboard. Um, it's like this peel and stick kind of thing. It's sick. Oh yeah, this is our, or my company's logo. It's not on my lab. TM, trademark, so I don't steal it. I'm just kidding. Um, this is just... This is like basically where I'm gonna be putting um, like a big old chart uh, and stuff like that. You know, when I need to feed, what what you know fish are breeding, if there's so many signs of breeding, mating, whatever, if they've bred, um, if they paired up, stuff like that. So that'll be in the future once the tanks are done. Uh, this is just like a quarantine thing to keep track of those two little tanks over there. Um, this is gonna be just like a little. A uh, tank for pipefish or dwarf seahorses, I'm not really sure yet, so that's cycling currently. And cycling means just like cycling the tank um, with the nitrogen cycle. Um, so basically fish waste is, is started as ammonia and then it turns into nitrite um, and then it turns into nitrate. The first two are poisonous to fish and then they, the bacteria converts it into a less toxic um, say chemical I guess um so the fish don't die but so a lot of nitrate isn't very good for their growth anyway uh yeah wires um don't worry it's a uh, GFI protected <laughs> uh this is just a little copepod pod thing I'm starting oh, fridge and freezer this is like a salt water vat for all these little tanks right now so this is just temporary so this is where I mix my um purified water and my salt mix in there and then age it for the tanks some storage um more chemicals there's some fish stuff so yeah all these drawers are like filled with fish stuff um for the room but uh microscope i have my um oh my gosh i'm blanking on the name if i knew how to edit out this part up i don't um like a specimen scope so you just put the specimen right there. You can have it like alive and stuff and then just look through that. And then this is a compound scope. So yes, I just bought this one. It has a little camera port at the top, which is pretty cool. Haven't used it yet, but I'm super excited to use it. Um, this is just an algae container, some lights I was putting up. Um, this is a centrifuge for the algae that I wanna um, turn into algae dust dried so it's easier to store. Um, so basically you put in your sample here and then you put it in there and then and then it like puts all the cells in the bottom of the water up here so it's more concentrated. Uh, let's see. Storage. Um, <laughs> the pressure cooker. No, I'm not using it to cook things in it. Um, this is for sterilization. So instead of getting an autoclave, which um, some of you nerds might know what that is, basically it just steam sterilizes things um so this again is for algae since algae is you know unicellular it's really easy to get contaminated and it actually really matters if it's contaminated with another algae species or bacteria 
So these sterilize um, any equipment I'm gonna be using for when it comes to sterile algae cultures. Um, this is just uh, my chemical storage and other lab equipment. So I have like a little caddy, test tubes, flask. Um, these are for staining. So when I wanna do like um, prepare your slides and wet mounts or whatever, you have, you know, your methylene blue and what's this, this is crystal violet, but methylene blue and um, whatnot. I need to get some malachite green actually. Um, some formaldehyde for storing specimens, ethyl alcohol. <laughs> and Graham's eyes, I bleed. Mm, well, the caps are on really tight, but it's really the room and everything. <laughs> okay, and again, I would edit this part out, but I'm too lazy, this is gonna be one video. Um, little calipers and some uh, scales and whatnot. Um, so that's basically the lab. <laughs> um, just some lab equipment, refractometer, measures the salinity and specific gravity, some more stuff. So yeah, all of this is just, just stuff, laundry. Okay, so go to the fish breeding room, which is not done yet. So you walk in, this is gonna be where the algae is gonna be cultured. And then there's some big algae vats here. Uh, I'm gonna put a big old like industrial curtain from this side to this side. It's gonna go big old black plastic, go down here just to kind of prevent some cross contamination. Um, these cultures aren't gonna be like super sterile. Um, you know, I'm gonna try my best, but it's just a bit of what I am. And so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, okay. So this is my RO. Uh, RODI water purifier. Some of you might have these in your house. Um, this just takes it a step further with these two. Um, it's deionization, so it just really, really purifies water, so you just get straight water. Fun fact, you can't drink it. If you drink too much, you'll die because your electrolytes get all about. So you have like a stroke or some shit. I don't know. Never tried it. Not going to. This is some garbage. Um, so this is the main room where the magic is going to happen because <laughs> fish are going to be doing it anyway. Um, not all the tanks are in here right now. There's like a big old 500 gallons that's gonna go here. It's all outside. Um, so these tanks are gonna be larval tanks. I had them custom made. I'm using them as storage right now. So these ones are, oh, what did I say? They're, I think these are about 44 gallons. Um, all black, fiberglass coated. Um, so this is going to be for the larvae. I have these ones here, these four. Actually, I have five ones outside. And then I also have smaller 18-gallon ones that I'm going to be using. Um, these are all going to go on this wall. This is a sump. So if saltwater people might know what a sump is. So basically, it's just a place for the extra water to go um, where you can medicate things, store all your equipment and whatnot, and just increase water volume size. Uh, let's see here. So these two racks are basically going to be for the adult breeding fish. Um, we're working on this one right now. These are the two pumps. So to get, not to get too technical, um, the pumps have to be pretty large to pump the water all the way up here because it's like, you know, nine, 10 feet off the ground. So that's called head pressure. Um, each Oh gosh, what is it? Foot of pipe is like one extra head pressure. So there's gonna be a lot of pipe and then you know each 90 degree angle in the pipe is another you know, foot of head or whatever. Um, so these two tanks on here are 40 gallon breeders. So these are gonna be for the larger fish, probably the blennies, um, maybe the angel fish. I'm not really sure yet. Um, these ones are 20 talls. Again, these will probably be for blennies, you know, some of the larger fish, dotty backs. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do dotty backs. Maybe pipe fish. Um, up there are the 10 gallons. These are all gonna be for gobies and smaller fish. I might even divide them up since gobies, some of them are, you know, only an inch long. They don't need that much space. So basically all of these tanks are going to be connected and they're gonna flow into this sump down here. So this is where the 
protein skimmer is gonna be any extra mechanical, chemical, um, biological filtration. It's not gonna flow into socks, get purified in here, and then it's gonna go get pumped back out. So this larger pump here is gonna be for these two rows are all gonna be connected. And then this smaller one is gonna be for up here. And each tank will have a ball valve so you can adjust the water level, drain a tank, whatever. Um, so it's gonna be for both of these. So this is gonna take a while. I've ordered the plumbing parts. Probably gonna start on that right once I get them, maybe hopefully within a week. Uh, I'd really like to you know, get this going. But first, gotta get that done. The mini split, uh, I have to call an electrician and get it um, hardwired outside. So we have that unit <laughs> and it's all, it's all done. They had to, don't tell Tyler this, um, they had to bore a three inch hole <laughs> in the side. So that's gonna get all cleaned up and sealed. And also you might notice that the wall is different. Um, that's because this is a, it's called FRP. It's like fiberglass reinforced plastic. Um, this is just so it, you know, the walls, when they get wet or dirty, they kind of, it just flows right off. So it protects this drywall. Um, and I need to finish this side of the wall, but this was party and this is actually a lot harder than it looks to put on. Um, and then down here, you know, since all fancy garages need a fucking trim. Um, so yeah, I got the, the trim here, um, and I had to get like uh flex glue and or flex paste or paint whatever and fill all that in so it doesn't get all nasty uh this is a water heater gotta get a cover for that work table um so yeah i'll probably put the zooplankton cultures over here again i might even put like a little curtain on this side just to keep it sterile um i have two 100 gallon tanks they're gonna be RO water and then salt water on the top. I'm sorry, RO water on the top, salt water on the bottom. Those are gonna be for water changes and popping off tanks and whatnot. And these are just extras. Um, probably put those out somewhere. And then there'll probably be another 400 gallon tank here along with the 500. So this is gonna be jam packed and uh, seal the garage and all that fun stuff. So <sighs> that's basically where I am right now. Uh, first update video 12 minutes long um i'm not gonna edit it <laughs> sorry i don't know how i'm not gonna book tyler um but yeah if you'd like me to do more of these videos in the future um i would be happy to it's actually a pretty interesting pos process and kind of you know hard to i'll explain in a short video but um yeah I would, i'd love to just do a nice progress um video or you know quote action video putting stuff up plumbing and whatnot uh, I do it with my, my old co-workers and it's, it's pretty fun. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, bye.